every gate standing my way of influence and visibility I declare be broken right now lift your voice and pray he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder he has broken the gates of power and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them will see him. They all had oil, but because the bridegroom delayed, the oil of others finished and they missed out. You are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and pray. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my business. Speed to my career. Someone is praying. Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make decrees in the name of Jesus. 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 We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. And Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. We are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my life. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Speed, speed, speed. Someone prophesy. Someone declare. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125, verse 3. Psalm 125, verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war, from the power of the sword. Next verse. Thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Why? Listen. It says, for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field. That means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me. You use sand, you, I, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because I was given dominion over them. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, no enchantment, no divination against my life and my destiny shall drive. Lift your voice and pray. I am in covenant. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? One to read. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. If it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way, by all means. If it means making a way, by all means. Lift your voice and say, Lord, by all means, give me peace. 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 Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. 
next verse to proclaim the acceptable year of the lord and the day of vengeance of our god to comfort all that mourn in zion verse 3 it says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified verse 4 I receive it for myself it says and they shall build the old waste they shall raise up the former desolations and shall repair the waste cities and desolations of many generations verse 5 and strangers this is where we are getting to you don't need to know who will help you strangers and strangers shall stand and feed listen 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 strangers shall stand and feed your flock it says and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen this was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth the Bible says and David say is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake and they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons the Bible says he sent him to Lodeba he said there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth go and fetch the man the king said when he came he said although you are crippled even Mephibosheth said am I a dog that the king will be sending for me he said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him he said but as for you Mephibosheth you will eat with me at my table here forever keep that scripture there listen this scripture is a deliverance scripture stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know it's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough stop troubling your uncle your auntie every time you are saying god visit me your mind is going to a particular person that real estate man leave god to decide who like a movie director let him decide who will come with the blessing are you ready to pray make decrees in this season strangers are feeding my flock strangers are feeding my flock the sons of alien are coming to bless me hell prepare blessings rising from everywhere hallelujah two prayer points and we're done are you ready to pray we are going to pray for nigeria how many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation you see the happenings around this nation the church should not be silent it's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements our assignment is to pray pray like believers with intelligence he said pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper who love you we are going to pray we cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people you heard the testimony of our dear auntie here the precious daughter just came out of the her school and these wicked evil people entered a car and that's how they carried her killed other innocent people whoever digs a pit for you i stand by my god and i declare they must enter that pit hallelujah now listen Haman was plotting the annihilation of the Jews and he was clearly cooperating with Vashti and God needed to remove Vashti and when God brought Esther Esther forgot her assignment and she was enjoying the palace and Mordecai sent a warning that warning is for all of us every time you hear trouble somewhere don't say it's still far don't make the mistake of esther mordecai said do not think when they are done with us from afar you will be spared the moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell don't just say i am secured 
Esther knew that if she kept quiet, one day they would discover she were a Jew and they would kill her. And she took the risk. I'm going to meet the king. Even without his invitation, if I perish, I perish. One of the things I'm praying and trusting that God will do to the body of Christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests are we together for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem no we're going to pray in one minute cry to the god of heaven father we declare let the angels be released over nigeria let the angels be released over this nation we declare peace we declare safety 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me make decrees over our lives now. Decrees are powerful. Hallelujah. Prophetic words don't only reveal, they create. They make what is not there to be there. We can call the things that be not and make them to appear. We can call the favor that be not and make it appear. We can call the lifting that be not and make it appear. Are you ready to pray? In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every door that has refused to open over your destiny, I declare, let it be open right now. Let it be open right now in the name of Jesus. Everywhere the helpers of your destiny are, men instructed by God to hold your hand and lift you. I don't care where they are across this nation and around the globe. I stand by the voice of prophecy and I command them to show up in your life. 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 Listen to me. Every strange pattern and occurrence in any family, circles of negative things that keep repeating themselves. I stand by the God of heaven and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I break those patterns now. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. The Bible says the mom bore him in sorrow and named him Jabez. And for a while things would not go well in his life. And one day he said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. Is someone ready to pray? Listen, God is a God of increase. Is It is the will of God that you keep moving from glory to glory. Not that you become stunted in one position. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, expand. Expand to the left. Expand to the right. I'm praying for you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Expand to the east. Expand to the north. 
expand to the south expand to the west expand overseas in the name of jesus christ let's decree favor In the name of Jesus Christ, the kind of favor you have not seen in your life. I stand by the God of heaven if you can believe it. I declare between now and next week Sunday, return with a fearful testimony of favor. I speak it from the depth of my spirit. Return with a fearful testimony of favor. We shift systems, we shift structures, and I command favor. I declare favor. I command favor. I declare favor. Can I pray for your spiritual life? Everything that has killed your hunger and your passion for the things of God. You used to pray in the night but now you sleep all till the day there is a spirit of slumber that wants to eat up your destiny because a new season is about to open for you so the devil does not want you to stay in the place of prayer receive an impartation of the grace the spirit of prayer and supplication in the name of jesus christ listen to me hear me we're wrapping up i'm speaking to you prophetically there are many of you seasons are about to open in your life but listen listen the devil wants to use offense to kill those seasons beware one of the traps of satan when seasons are about to open is that he uses offense everything offends you your husband your wife your children your boss make up your mind that your joy will remain because it is with joy you draw out of the wells of salvation i declare joy unspeakable joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory joy unspeakable full of glory hallelujah let me pray for those in business I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost and I believe in miracles. I don't care how it has been before now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, what has refused to work in your hands? Go back right now and watch wonders happen. Go back right now and watch wonders happen. Go, uh, Go back and watch wonders happen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, everyone here connected to anything that has to do with ancestry, anything that has to do with bloodline, everything that seems to have a legal hold over your life. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, at the count of three, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, it will consume that devil now. One, two, help them. Free. Be free now. Be Please help them. Be free now. Be free now. Help those under the anointing, please. Any family here with the yoke of death on their head, everyone here with the yoke of untimely death i decree and i declare right now by this by this oil of preservation that i command you pass over their family pass over their destinies pass over their families hear me every demonic mark over your life attracting men attracting tragedies attracting losses 
to your life your business your ministry your career by the power that raised christ from the dead by the blood of the lamb may that mark be erased forever erased forever erased forever erased forever hear me everyone here who comes close to prophecy but never handles it you see it in your dreams you are just one step to receiving it and then something in the name of jesus every spirit assigned to frustrate you i stand on this altar by the blood of the lamb i decree help them please i command an end to that oppression now an end to that oppression now help those under the anointing please there are people here anything you start does not last there is no problem in starting you have done too many things this year alone but none of them has been sustained whether it's business whether it's ministry whether it's a relationship whether it's marriage nothing you do lasts I decree and declare by this oil of preservation on your life whatever cuts short prophecy from your destiny let it be cancelled now cancelled now cancelled now cancelled now every spirit that makes tomorrow worse than yesterday that means all your achievements and everything that makes you happy is always in yesterday you see people sit down and they never discuss what god is doing it is always something that happened something that happened as though tomorrow does not have anything good i decree and declare whatever makes your moral your tomorrow to keep diminishing in quality and value I decree and I prophesy over you let that spirit live your destiny now hear me anyone here who is in ministry particularly and it looks like the more the ministry is extending in age the more everything is going down whether in membership whether in impact whether in visibility you may be following online i'm standing here under the corporate anointing with all the servants of god here and we decree and declare whatever makes ministry a frustrating adventure for you that it looks like you are called but nothing in your life shows that you are called by the power that raised christ from the dead we cause that spirit now The same applies to business the same applies to career your tomorrow i repeat should never never be worse than yesterday now hear me if there is anyone here who is struggling with any terminal disease particularly something that is already eating you up that is already plunging you towards death or anyone here having dreams and all you keep seeing are dead people dead relatives people who have died interacting with you or whatever it is They're, the living and the dead have nothing in common therefore this night by this oil of preservation be separated forever be separated forever And any human agent in partnership with demonic spirits to invoke death or pain or losses or tragedy over your life and your endeavors in the name of Jesus Christ we decree and declare this oil upon you becomes an oil of judgment against them hallelujah 
if there is anyone here that you have been marked in the realm of the spirit for kidnap by any terrorist group whether in this nation or around the world i stand in the name of jesus as one sent of god i decree and declare that anybody who stands by the road to kidnap you i command the earth to fight them in the name of jesus whether in the day whether in the night every devil walking through men that will stand by the road to kidnap or oppress you may the earth fight them in the name of jesus and every manifestation of accidents whether by road whether by sea whether by air hear me if you enter that plane or that car then it will not crash please believe these are not empty words these are not empty words at all let me pray for your children whether you are there with them or not wherever your children are may this prophetic word go ahead of them and preserve them hallelujah i think he was in the I, I i don't i don't i don't watch the news so much but I, I saw something on the news or so about a young boy was it one young boy i think he's in nigeria here that was killed or i think i hope i'm right with that story i don't i really didn't follow the story but i said what sort of a thing is this i'm saying it again wherever your children are if there is anyone who could not get to you and now wants to come through your children whether biological whether adopted or spiritual in the name of jesus christ quarter to shame and disgrace may my god arise and speak for you hallelujah And everybody who has been commanded to come into your life as an answered prayer and the devil is delaying them and yet you are suffering from that delay you are suffering whether business whether relationship whether family whether prophetic connection anybody that should show up in your life and destiny to accelerate prophecy wherever they are I command divine acceleration to you The wine presser was supposed to talk to the king fast about Joseph. But because of his carelessness, Joseph spent two extra years. It was the delay of the bridegroom that punished five other virgins. They were all virgins. But simply because the, the bridegroom chose to delay, that was why their oil finished. Whatever will cut short your joy and your laughter in the name of jesus especially during this season i prophesy to you by the power of the holy spirit whatever will not make you laugh and rejoice let it go for your sake <laughs> hallelujah this is not our last service but i just feel stirred to rebuke the spirit of fear and then we're done many people are afraid right now because of the festive season there is no money how will my children eat how will i travel can i speak to you dear family of faith have no fear i want to speak to you there is the prophetic dimension of the supplies of the kingdom if you have never had a christmas celebration or a new year celebration with joy and gladness in the name of jesus may this be one with a difference in your life may god raise men you do not know may god raise systems and structures in the name of jesus christ hallelujah here and there people can have illnesses malaria whatever it is and just take drugs and deal with it but there are people here from beginning of this year till now 
Minister of the gospel, let your heart be open. I want to release a grace upon you. Ministers of the gospel, it's time to do this powerlessness in the church. If we do not drive it away by the introduction of genuine graces, the purposes of God and the program of God will suffer. I call upon the God of my covenant and in the name of Jesus I declare for everyone called into ministry, the mantle and the grace needed, take it now. 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 The grace needed for efficiency. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hear me? If you are a prophet here, may your eyes and your ears be opened. Supernaturally. May a mantle come upon you. Male and female. May that grace come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The healing anointing. I'm seeing fire coming on the hands of people. I don't know who you are, but drink of that fountain. In the name of Jesus Christ, drink of that fountain. A new wave of the healing anointing. A new wave of the healing anointing. I release it upon you. I, re I release it upon you. Take that grace now. Signs and wonders. I shift you into a ministry of signs and wonders. Potent signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. That through your hands, the blind will see. Through your hands, the deaf will hear. Through your hands, cripples will walk. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Every dimension of the gift of the Spirit that is missing in your life but required for your destiny. I'm telling you, I'm seeing like candles. I'm seeing candles in the Spirit and fire is coming on those candles. This is what I'm seeing. It looks like Acts chapter 2 and verse 1. That Pentecost fire, let it come upon you now. That Pentecost fire, let it come upon you now. Pentecost fire with proof in your spiritual life. I'm still praying for everyone, but particularly ministers of the gospel. The spirit of revelation, superior illumination into scripture. I tell you, men and women will teach scripture like never before. The word of God will open up to you. You will communicate doctrine and the mysteries of scripture with precision and exactitude. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace, the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus Christ. Every altar that has been barren of power for any man or woman of God here, in the name of Jesus, return back to your various stations with fire. Return back to your various stations with fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's do the finance one now. Father, it is your desire for your people to prosper. Even in this season. And many of them have come from situations right now where except you help and show mercy. Certain financial doors may not seem to be opened. But in the name of Jesus, you have orchestrated this service for the mysterious lifting of men. Therefore, the grace component required for your financial exploits, receive it now. Hmm. Hmm. Receive it now. Receive it now. Hear me? 
there are many of you by reason of this impartation a strange order of wisdom is resting on your mind superior strategies superior ideas in the name of Jesus Christ and every spirit of lack and poverty that has followed any family here I don't care for how long it has been I arrest it now in the name of Jesus I arrest it now in the name of Jesus I arrest it now in the name of Jesus hallelujah please be silent I want you to bring all the people who will be under the anointing now. Just be silent. You don't say you've prayed. This is the instruction God is giving me. I want to rebuke certain strange spirits that have held on to certain destinies. And usually I will ask you to shout, but the Lord is giving me an instruction to be silent. In the name of Jesus, Father, even as you have instructed, everyone here and every family here, under the influence of wicked spirits, yokes, covenants aha in the name of jesus christ i'm telling you there's there's such fire that is moving in the name of jesus let there be deliverance for such people supernaturally please bring them out whether for individuals or families very quickly men and women everything that has tied your progress i decree and declare right now be released be released, be released. Please bring them out. My God, fire is falling in this place. Bring them quickly. Ancestry, yokes of darkness. You may not even know that is the cause. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing someone like a chain around your waist. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken, Let it, Let it be broken now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it be broken now. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Release their destinies. It happened to your father, it happened to your mother, it happened to your siblings. The blood is speaking against it now. The Apakosh Ketepata, the blood is speaking against it now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the king. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Please bring them out quickly. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. feet of people and the Lord is saying he's opening graves I don't know what this means but in the name of Jesus every family here that has been tied down by witchcraft and ancestry I stretch my hands fire fire begins to burn everything that is not of God bring them out let it destroy the works of darkness let it destroy the works of darkness connected to ancestry connected to the spirits of the dead be delivered now
I'm still praying. Please be sensitive. This is a very prophetic moment. Sanakos kedila sobe shalakros kevaniata engroto so deba lakusia. Every two two years, someone must die in that family. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is bringing deliverance. Someone must die. Where are those people? The power of God is coming on you now. Right now, I break that chain of that pattern that pattern of death. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Anyone here appointed unto death that the devil has vowed that you must die this year I don't know where you are but in the name of Jesus I want to rebuke that influence over your life and I hope you know that as you are standing here you can stand in for your loved ones too wherever they are spirit of death I speak to you you know my voice anyone whose destiny you have hijacked release them now release them now release them now negative and demonic dreams seeing yourself in the past past schools writing exams that never finish all kinds of satanic things everything that connects you negatively to yesterday be set free right now please help them be set free right now be set free right now hear me the lord is asking me to repeat this same thing again you go to bed and you see yourself doing things you had done before levels you have left according to scripture believers don't go backward we only go forward every spirit drawing you back i break you from their influence now let me tell you this hear me i hope you know i used to have those experiences myself before you've heard my story as a man of God, though, not just a, an, an ordinary believer, I used to have those experiences where demons would come and press me and all those things. I would shout Jesus, shout Jesus, nothing will happen. That is why when you see me ministering deliverance to people, I do it with passion because I've been a victim of oppression. Again, let me speak to someone. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have tried, and yet nothing has changed. In the name of Jesus, this night, be delivered permanently. 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 hallelujah don't be tired i'm seeing in a vision this is what i'm seeing the hands of people tied how can a man move like this with your hands tied how can a man move like this and walk with your hands tied i don't know who that person is but in the name of jesus let fire from heaven your hand is a symbol of your productivity you may even have a job yet your hands are tied i don't know whose hand is tied or whose destiny is tied at the count of three shout jesus and your deliverance comes one two three shout jesus be delivered now i break those chains i break them from your hands i break those chains i break them from your hands Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the vision of a door. And I'm seeing many people queuing in front of that door. And according to the vision I'm seeing, 
trying to force the door to open and some are even crying and I'm seeing people dropping like dying yet that door is not opened I believe that this is a sign of advancement or retrogression that doors and I believe that this line represents families and even generations that have stood there are doors that have limited families that they say nobody can pass through this door you can go abroad you can school like this our dear woman the professor that came to give a testimony let me open that door prophetically I taught you at the beginning of this year that there are three ways doors are open number one is by the use of the right key number two is by knocking the ministry of men but number three by force and power let me use number three because when those doors open they open from their foundations i decree and declare every generational door that has closed i stand and as an apostle of the lord jesus christ let that door be open now i break that door now I break that door now. I break that door now. Generational doors be open. Be open. Be open. Efata be open. Be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be surprised to see what happens to you as a result of this miracle service hear me you see when a door is open or broken the most important thing is that the right of way has been given you will begin to see mysterious advancement happening to you in the name of jesus for all who are in front here, I declare prophetically that God who has located you, you have come out by the anointing, the spirits that oppress you, I declare the count of three in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. They release you once and for all. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. One, two, three, go, go, go. Release them now. Out of their lives. Never to return again. In the name of Jesus. The sun sets them free and we declare the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are free forever. They are free forever. They are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Please hear me. I told you that I have discerned that among the many things that God is doing is bringing health and healing to his people and also bringing financial stability you see the teachings that i've been bringing these are not just teachings that are coming carelessly because one of the things that the devil has released upon the body of christ please hear me is death through sickness mysteriously people just wake up and you find out that there are diseases you cannot account for are we together now it is our responsibility to be able to discern what heaven is doing and to be able to communicate God, God's intent for his people. So this prayer for healing, we may not have time for testimonies because our time is gone. You can always register your testimony, but I want to pray with you. Listen, if there is any loved one you know in your life who is sick, please, as I'm praying, connect with them so that they don't die for nothing. And for those who are connecting from any hospital, our teaching hospitals, private hospitals, now is the time. It's incredible how people connect from hospitals and release their faith. Please connect. We're, we're, we're talking now under the influence of the anointing. Lay your hands on your chest. If you have a medical report, bring it out. I'm about to pray. That devil must let you go. Must let your children go. Please place your hand right now. I want to minister the life and the healing power of Jesus. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And then we'll pray. Praises to your name, O oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Place your hand there. I sing praises to your name, O oh God. 
praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly. for you I shout the name of Jesus I want you to thunder a loud amen let the devil and let that sickness know I told you expectation must be expressed in words and in action hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I command every spirit that is back of any infirmity in the name of him who died and rose again. I speak as one sent from God. May that spirit leave your body now. That devil of infirmity leave God's people now from America to Europe, to South Africa, to Kenya, to Zimbabwe, to Ghana, to Lagos, to Abuja, to Joss, to Kano. Let the healing power of God begin to flow right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. 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 Blood conditions be healed now. Yes. Cancer die now. Yes. HIV be healed now. Yes. Blood conditions of any sort we declare healing right now. Yes. Blind eyes, partial or complete blindness, we command that you open now. Yes. Deaf ears be open now. Anyone here suffering from the issue of blood, I declare be healed right now. Every demonic growth roaming around any part of your body, there is someone, fire is coming on you. There's movement all over your body. You literally feel things moving in your body from your head to your toe be set free right now there's someone you are having a problem with your heart in the name of Jesus be healed right now the Lord is showing me a woman in a vision it started like having you know how you have cold maybe a flu or something and then you lose your voice but till now your voice is not restored this has this has become months you know most times people just take maybe lemon warm water or something some you know and and then eventually their voices their, their, the sound returns but for this woman your, your your voice refused to return back so you speak as though you are whispering it's a demonic thing I restore your speaking now in the name of Jesus Christ there is a woman you are laying your hands right now you are in this place you are laying your hands upon your daughter your little baby there's been a mysterious sickness you don't even know why she's losing appetite she's not eating 
she no, not sucking not doing all of that in the name of Jesus Christ let that little baby be healed right now now whether I've mentioned your case or not in the name of Jesus be healed now the Lord is showing me a plot by darkness to take someone's father and mother the same day this is what I'm saying in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is a mysterious sickness just destroying both of them like in this not accident like that just you know in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare we extend their life to its fullest you will not lose any of your loved ones again therefore be healed be perfected there's someone you have your own is not heart palpitations I'm not a medical doctor I'm just sharing what the Lord is showing me your heart is not pumping blood properly this is what is wrong with you I may not know the, the medical name of that situation but it makes you dizzy I mean it's, it's like the, the case that I mentioned earlier here in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is whatever blockage is around your heart that extends to your veins your arteries whatever is stopping the normal blood flow to supply oxygen to the body in Jesus name we declare supernaturally let there be healing let there be healing there's someone the Lord is showing me every time is it is rainy season you have boils come out of your body like boils sores come out even you know various areas of your body that discomfort you seriously I don't know who that person is but this year we exempt you from that experience in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus now everyone you're going to be praying in the spirit for the next one minute while you submit your prayer requests let's do it very quickly ushers let's have the prayer requests please bring out your prayer request our global family now is the time to forward your requests just pass it to the last person by your left or right to make the work easy for the ushers just pass it please if you need to pen down one or two things just make that snappy very very quickly hallelujah make that very snappy God bless you are you praying make sure you're not silent ushers let's make it fast please make sure we have enough people outside and then all the overflows those online connect by faith right now you heard the testimonies hallelujah where is that woman who gave that professor woman that gave a testimony from the Zimbabwe America where is she is she here Please let her come quickly and then the pastor from redeemed that pastor from redeemed that testified two of them please let them come submit your request very quickly let's have it very quickly hallelujah praise God the pastor from redeemed please let him come and then the professor working with Jeff Bezos hallelujah I want to speak over your lives both of you you came here I just felt led in my spirit not that we're trivializing and every testimony is great but the Lord put it in my heart I thought I'll do this privately but the Lord asked me to do it now please let's have the request very quickly I'm, I'm, I'm happy that both of you have acknowledged the power of the anointing the, the you can be gifted but your gift must be anointed to be gifted and to be anointed are two different things to be gifted means that you have developed outsourced and even refined your value to be able to serve your world with excellence but the assignment of the anointing is to be able to bring the spirit factor because James 2 26 says a body without a spirit is dead your gift is a body without a spirit it can still be dead and our dear professor we're going to pray for you and release you with another dimension of grace that you will go back and you will marvel and wonder at what the power of God can do and for our dear pastor we don't know what parish you pastor or whatever you do but you have come to acknowledge Jesus 
the lands you bought in Lekki and the other one is child's play. That is just a test of faithfulness. God will grant you access to the wealth of nations. Now let me pray for both of you. I stretch my hands. We've been commanded to bless. And in the name of Jesus, this is a sworn blessing. It cannot be reversed. I stretch my hands upon both of you, using you as a point of contact to as many who desire to walk in this reality. God has lifted you in Jesus' name. Professor, we pray. Let that grace speak for you. Go back and be marvelously distinguished. Even among your contemporaries, we elevate you by the anointing. And for our pastor, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you. A unique grace for wealth and prosperity, let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, as you declare the word in season and out of season, the Lord himself will bring such evidence to your ministry. I bless you both. Go and return with greater testimonies. In Jesus' name we pray. Give them a big hand clap. Thank you. Please stretch your hands and begin to declare over your request. Remember, I've taught you on expectation. I want you to begin to make faith declarations very quickly. I'm returning with my testimony. Everything written here will be returned as a harvest of answers. Lord, step in, do the impossible, do the impossible, it's a prayer, Lord, Lord step in, do the impossible. Please let's be sure that everyone's request is here. I want to lay my hands on it. I'd like you to begin to pray in the spirit and declare over this request. Father, in the name of Jesus, I return with testimonies. Is someone praying? Is someone praying? Shabaraso koto prantas kalivere so dia parados. Ratabaraso do braske berento sidas. Christ I decree and I declare that every request here represented let it return to you as a testimony 
for many of you may it return faster than you expected I say it again may it return faster than you expected for some of you your answer comes this night where you have been mocked in the name of Jesus Christ may that mockery come to an end where men have said where is your God may God use your results to reply them in the name of Jesus Christ let fire fall on these requests let fire fall on this request 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 in the name of jesus christ hear me by miracle service may in the name of jesus you will not have to repeat anything you've written here I stand upon this request and I decree and declare the same way I'm standing upon it prophetically everything that has risen above you to limit your life I bring it under your feet I bring it under your feet I bring it under your feet now I declare over your life favor like you have never seen may that grace rest upon you favor like you have never seen may that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ number two koinonia receive speed receive speed in one month may God give you the achievement of years in one month I repeat may my God give you the achievement of years I decree and declare everything that has brought you down and covered your glory I give visibility to your glory in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the helpers of your destiny who have been anointed to locate you and to work in partnership with God for your lifting wherever they are I call them by prophecy to manifest in your life I call them by prophecy to manifest in your life hear me I pray for your various homes I decree and declare may your home be a tabernacle for the presence of God may your home be a place of fire and revival in the name of Jesus Christ and everything written as Ichabod in your life I decree and declare let there be a sudden restoration a sudden restoration wealth like you have never handled may my God bring to your hands in the name of Jesus I pray for your relationship with the Lord hear me hear me hear me hear me this is a very big deal not just for God but even in this ministry while it is true that we are concerned with the holistic building of every man it is important to understand that in order of priority the greatest point of emphasis is your spiritual health therefore I decree and declare your word study life your prayer life may fire come upon your altar in the name of Jesus Christ fire like never before to pray fire like never before to fast fire like never before to pray fire like never before to fast your word study life a passion for the word receive it in the name of Jesus
Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media. Mata pran sala se bahashida hasuka kalis Ena barata balato sotu prahaski di balango shiata Ia shadi sade kabarong zati Rakta zada balata koska fria Listen When that experience happened to me By the next meeting I went to It was like the heavens were opened I said what is this what dimension is this I have about eight minutes from my timer there and I want us to use these eight minutes to pray when the man of God came here he so graciously stirred the waters by challenging you to know that the realm of the spirit is the origin the foundation upon this earth he told Job, he said, Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? And he says, Canst thou establish the dominion in the earth thereof? More than principles, this earth is immersed in mysteries. And for you to access the deep things of the spirit, to have power with God indeed. According to Micah chapter 3 and verse 8, he says, I have power the spirit among the three things if I had time I would have taught you the three dimensions of the help of God the last of them is power the empowerment of the spirit comes as his way of assisting you to those who have no might he increases strength that's how he helps them but the strength is only for those who have no might. If you have might, you keep running. CEO, you may still have might in yourself. And so you will keep running. Apostle, prophet, evangelist, your inefficiency may be because you have not assumed the posture that can attract heaven to come and partner with you. The formula is always the spirit and the bride saying come. Results don't come because the bride wants it to come. The spirit must say come and then the bride echoes come for the word to come. The Bible says the word was made flesh. But John was given the dynamics of that manifestation. It is the spirit and the bride that says come. When you say be healed. As a bride alone there is no healing. Until the spirit says be healed. Then the bride says be healed. Then healing comes. When the spirit says be lifted. Then the bride says be lifted. Then lifting comes. Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this place. Shakatos 
I want to pray for you. And I want to ask, Madam, can I pray for you? Just lift your hands. The Lord is calling you to a new season of power. I'm seeing a strong anointing come upon you. And the Lord is saying by this anointing, he's opening gates. And he's giving you access. Access to territories. Even by the spirit of the living God. Access to territories. Even by the spirit of the living God. Now I want to pray for you. Please listen. Mountains are not moved by holding them to lift them up. They are lifted by the shout of grace, grace. Grace, grace is a code in the spirit. It is a manifestation of the help of God. I'm going to be praying right now. I'm seeing the number 24, just a few minutes, 24. And I'm seeing fire come on those people and the Lord is telling me, that he's taking away the hindrances and giving you room for advancement. I stretch my hands right now, 24, in the name that is above all names. Help them, please. I decree and declare, may that anointing rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Upon you now. Hallelujah. Who is Bukola? Bukola. I'm hearing a name Bukola. Is there someone with that name? I know that our time is up. Bukola. If that is your name or you're following online, Bukola, I just want to pray and speak over that person. Who is Daniel? I'm hearing a name Daniel. 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 I want to pray for you. What do you do, my friend? This man. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming upon you. And you will step into, you will become another man. Even by the Spirit of the living God. My friend, what do you do? Huh? I cook. I cook. You cook? Yes. Because I'm seeing the grace that came on Stephen on you that from the welfare department he's taking you to ministry the call of God is upon your hand your life I want to pray for you father in the name of Jesus may that grace come upon this gentleman that from serving tables I shift you by the spirit in the name of Jesus you will drink of that wine and you will step into superior dimensions of power in the name of Jesus Christ Please bring two people for me now. They will shout loud under the anointing to the hearing of everyone. I just want to speak to them. This one or two minutes. Two people. One is a lady. A loud shout. I'm just seeing the wind of the spirit rest upon that person. It's a loud shout to the hearing of everybody. My friend grace in the name of Jesus Christ help him a new dimension that young lady this lady please tap her for me the one praying my dear lift your hands 
I'm seeing the grace that was on Esther coming on you. And the Lord is saying it's a new season. I shift you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, even into that season. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God. hallelujah everything that has constituted a delay in your life the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of ahab even down to jezreel there is a grace that can come upon a man and grant you speed listen you see the zenith of dominion in life is dominion over time dominion over time real authority is demonstrated when you are able to manipulate time to work out an advantage for you it says and i will restore the years not just the things i will restore the years there are three ways that god brings restoration number one he gives you speed number two he is able to take the things that should have been and to bring it even to your future. It is within his power because he is Alpha, he is Omega. And the third way that God is able to restore is through favor. So he can bring you into prepared blessings even by his spirit. There are times that he will empower your crops to produce but it is subject to time but there are times you will need bread directly you will need it even processed he is able to do both it is within his power i'm saying this because i want to release that grace for speed our time is up as i pray please i want you to be your brother's keeper so that people will begin to run by the spirit Please help them so they don't injure themselves. I stretch my hands right now. Shani Kaparatusia. May that grace for speed. Yes. By the road of the priests. By the road of the apostolic and the prophetic. In the name of Jesus. Take that grace. Speed. 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 I decree and declare. Speed in your destiny. I decree and declare. Speed yes. by the spirit of grace. Yes. Ten years in one year by the power of the prophetic. One month receiving one year. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. I set before you an open door by the key of David. That door that no man can shut when David and no man can open when shut. May your gates be continually open. Yes, night not to be shot that you would receive the forces of the gentiles now i led my voice with the angel over this house the prophet over your life to speak over you that in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living god beginning from tonight the grace to begin to walk with the Holy Spirit in deeper dimensions receive it right now Amen. the hearing ear and the seeing eye in the name of Jesus may it be given to you Amen. the hearing ear and the seeing eye may it be given to you Amen. and if there is anyone here who is already walking in confusion outside of the prophetic blueprint for your life it says and when he the spirit of truth is come that he will guide us into all truth i decree and declare enjoy the guidance of the spirit in the name of jesus christ and in addition to all that you have received i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead the remaining half of this the year 
from June even until December, it will be by the Spirit for you. Amen. Business by the Spirit. Amen. Ministry by the Spirit. Amen. Parenting by the Spirit. Amen. Finances by the Spirit. Amen. Open I'm about to pray. Because by this time tomorrow, for someone in the name of Jesus, for someone it is a literal tomorrow for someone it's a prophetic tomorrow meaning the seasons that you have left forget about what has gone wrong please rise up on your feet we're about to pray just a few minutes let's minimize moving up and down we just have a few minutes and we're done two prayer points tonight prayer point number one from the depth of your heart i'd like you to pray and cry unto god and say father i open up my heart to the prophetic as a system of advantage for my lifting for my rising for my dominion and for my excelling open up your mouth and pray i open up my spirit i open up my spirit to the prophetic dimension i believe in the power of the prophetic first the prophecy of scripture being the most sure word of prophecy we live by the word it is by the word we are built it is by the word we are established someone pray i contend for that prophetic dimension that comes with the word is someone praying let it be from the depth of your heart please no looking around your eyes on jesus and you pray i open up my spirit to the prophetic The prophetic, the most sure word of prophecy, and then anointed vessels as God has placed in my life with integrity and with honor to the word of God. Go ahead and pray. Lord, we open up our hearts to the prophetic. The prophetic office and the operation of the prophetic hallelujah now before I speak over your life and I want you to be patient and receive it number two we are going to pray for the prophetic office ministry and the prophetic generally in Nigeria and Africa particularly we owe a responsibility to pray and say Lord we declare number one redemption number two restoration number three glorification of the prophetic that every area of lapse and corruption and flesh we declare that it be pruned out by the dealings of God are we together now that God will raise in every region genuine prophetic and apostolic voices in your family in your church in every region that would dispense the prophetic with character with dignity with balance all the games that surround the prophetic let's drive it out of the body of Christ in prayer all the imbalances and all the, the nonsense that you know the baggages that have come with flesh in administering the prophetic let's pray the mercy of God please open your mouth and pray pray for men and women of God in Nigeria pray for men and women of God in Africa pray for men and women of God in Europe pray for men and women of God in America Australia everywhere your mind can take you to pray Lord sustain the prophetic sustain the revelatory dimension of the prophetic sustain the creative dimension of the prophetic let destinies not be aborted because of dishonor to the prophetic let confusion not remain in your body because of dishonor to the prophetic let darkness not fall upon us without eyes that see and warn without ears that hear and warn because of our pride in persecuting those you have gifted with grace pray Lord we pray for pruning let there be judgment and pruning among the prophetic and the apostolic in Nigeria in Africa walk on the character of men and women they that bear the vessels of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ prune out every flesh the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes 
the pride of life childishness immaturity the mix of the prophetic with various shades of divination and extra biblical practices take it out of your body oh god but by all means preserve the prophetic by all means oh god and for your name's sake preserve the prophetic hallelujah my final word to the body of christ please hear me there is no man of god and no woman of god especially one called into the prophetic and the apostolic who should outgrow training let me repeat myself many of the nonsense that we experience in the body of christ sometimes it is not an issue of sin it's just an issue of childishness are we together if you were a man and a woman of god listening to me following by way of rebroadcast or you are here let me challenge you no matter what height you attain please humble yourself to learn learn at the feet of those who know what they are doing let me tell you the the major problem with africa in many african regions the apostolic voices that speak as fathers are still young people and we salute them for their diligence to rise but you see nations need fathers and fathers indeed a combination of experience and the length of years working with god the bible says woe unto any nation whose king is a child i'm not being sarcastic we have we've already acknowledged the great ministries in this nation and across there are many ministries that are led by children not just children in age but children in mind and some of these excesses are purely products of immaturity gifted people but no character and emotional stability and maturity so we keep we we desecrate the altar and bring reproach to the body of christ because of lack of maturity we must trust god for grace for stability are we together stability in character as we dispense the prophetic you are prophesying to people go and find out the rules of prophesying to people don't just say i saw and you call someone and you are describing explicit things in the presence of people you know what i'm talking about you are describing things that a this one is not the issue of sin it's about training and maturity there are rules to prophesying you don't just say everything you are seeing no the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet anything you are going to say that does not translate to edification and comfort you can hide it see the people privately and then this god of mammon bring money and i prophesy may god deliver us in the name of jesus and then for us too as men of god open up themselves including me to speak to you as much as you love and respect us make sure that you trust god for grace as much as possible don't idolize the prophetic the prophetic is not jesus the prophetic is a system of advantage that reveals jesus when you place your faith entirely in the prophetic you are an idol worshiper even if it's genuine prophetic our faith should be on jesus the bible calls jesus not the prophetic the author and the finisher of our faith are we together now let me speak over your life you don't have to kneel or stand just believe I've been commanded to bless and he has granted grace and I want you to believe believe we have been commanded to bless I've told you what it does we can take advantage of time and program spiritual possibilities I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for as many who will believe as many whose hearts will be open between now and December 31st may my God give you a reason to laugh may my God give you a reason to laugh may my God give you a reason to laugh number two every long-standing issue that has been around your life and your family and has refused to bow to the name of the Lord I'm declaring some of you in a matter of days that situation comes to an end yeah. 
Number three, please receive this one. I want to speak over your finances. I truly got up this morning and I was concerned and burdened in my heart. There are many people right now who are dying of high blood pressure. They love the Lord. Pastors, individual, but this money thing. There are people who are already at the corridors of compromise because of tea and bread. Business did not seem to work this year. There are couples that are about to tear apart right now and it's because of money. Let me speak over your life. In the name that is above all names, hear me, anyone here who is in any financial condition that is for shame and for reproach, in the name of Jesus, come out of it now. By the ministry of destiny help us come out of it now I speak to every family here that all you have seen in your family is crying and languishing in the name that is above all names I open you up to a season of laughter There are family members that have not seen eyeball to eyeball. In the name of Jesus, may the reconciler in this season bring reconciliation. <laughs> Hear me. I am led to specially, I'm sensing in my spirit now, to pray for couples that have been far apart, either because of visa issues, someone, husband is in America, wife is in Nigeria for four years. They've not seen themselves, they've not seen their children. In the name of Jesus, if there is anyone like that under the sound of my voice, I declare supernaturally, may the Lord bring connection. Anyone here carrying the cause of death? You are already seeing dead people in your dreams. You are already having all kinds of demonic destructive things. Listen, listen, hold on please. My apologies for taking your time. Do you know, in the last three weeks, one of the case, the case that I've seen that in my email and text messages is people having breathing problems somebody just gets up and we're not talking covid oh you can't breathe again let me pray for someone if there is any manifestation of the spirit of death translating to any cardiovascular disease to cut short your life i decree and declare be free from it now <laughs> koinonia hear me your sleep is not for death you will not die in your sleep your travel is not for death. You will not die on the road. Please help them. The prophetic. Every hand that has been brought down in shame and you are saying, Lord, will I remain like this? Prophetically, I hold your hand. I lift it up. May it remain lifted forever. Anyone here having a court case or any legal issue that is about to eat up your family, by all means, I prophesy favor and mercy for you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anyone here called barren that your womb has refused to take in, I don't care what the medical condition is. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I speak over you. Between now and the end of this year, may a miracle start in your life. Please be patient. I don't know who has forgotten you and because they forgot you all kinds of needless hardship some of you are surrounded by people that if they were led by God to remember you the truth is that shame will be rolled away from your life any spirit that has made them forget you in the name of Jesus right now I open the book of remembrance And for any one of you who has misused opportunities that were once opened because of carelessness and now that door is closed, I prophesy restoration for you. 
please hear me any altar and any coven and any shrine carrying anybody's name or any family to say you will not rise that in this december for you it will be tears while others are laughing i call upon my god in the name of jesus and by the power of prophecy may that altar catch fire now <laughs> hallelujah two more speakings and we're done hear me there is a spirit that always leads men to trouble you get up in the morning in peace you will just go somewhere you are not supposed to go and you just see police come and they say everybody here just go to the police station why when you get there we'll tell you can i tell you the truth it says lead us not into temptation is that in your bible lead us not into temptation I know people who were minding their business. Someone came and said, let me introduce you to one business somewhere. They didn't know it was fraud. They sincerely just came because they wanted to make meaning. Right now, they are in trouble. Anything that is a temptation, anything that is the devil directing you to put you in trouble, right now, make a U-turn spiritually. Make a U-turn spiritually. Hear me? Every transaction, every connection, every fraternity with troublemakers that can implicate you legally, can implicate you spiritually, can bring reproach to your name and your family. May my God take you far from it. Yes. Hallelujah. The final prayer now that I pray for you. I'm praying... Whether you have children or not, anybody under your care is your child. Can I tell you, you will not use your money to manage evil. Amen. There are people just when families are ready to rise, you will hear that their child is in police station. You will hear that someone is sick. You heard the story of, I think someone, the lady who was healed here. I know a bit about these kidney things. And let me tell you, when you have a loved one that has a kidney situation be ready to put between 10 to at least 15 million to manage them and that not even with a guarantee they will survive i'm saying it again every trap of the enemy to bring joy and sadness to your family to your life to your children let it be averted finally right now for some of you it is with your own eyes, your own ears, and your own mind, God will use to prophesy to you. It will not even be another prophet. You will go to lie down, and what you wanted to meet someone to show you, my God will show you using your own faculties. Hear me, some of you, you will be praying and the spirit of prophecy will come on you and you will start prophesying. When you are done praying, you will see that that prophecy was for you. Let me add one more prayer. There are some of you who truly need an encounter with human vessels. You have encountered the prophecy of scripture but you have been afraid because there are all kinds of people playing gimmicks i want to pray a special prayer for you the prophetic voice that god needs to lead you to so that you will hear to give you accuracy and precision i call upon god between now and the end of december i connect you to that prophetic voice shout a loud amen i connect you to that prophetic voice Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you this for free. The day you actually encounter a man that God has helped with the prophetic, with character to help you and give you perspective, in five minutes, the confusion of 10, 20, 50 years, the blueprint of your destiny can be opened like you open a room that has been locked for a long time. I'm saying it one last time. You don't need to meet everybody. You have been meeting people not sent to you, even though they are accurate. He said there were many widows in Zarephath, but to none was Elijah sent. Just because a man can prophesy does not mean he's sent to you. 
in the name of Jesus, even if it's momentarily, I don't know what prophetic voice has been sent to bring perspective and direction and rest to your life. Find them now. Find them now. Find them now. Find them now. And if there is anyone who prophesied upon you and that prophecy is not accurate, yet you have been acting upon that inaccuracy and is torturing and destroying your life, in the name of Jesus, I release you from the effect of it now. Wave your hands to Jesus and thank him for tonight's service. By this time tomorrow, you return with a testimony. Pray that prayer now. Africa, leave again. South Africa, leave again. Nigeria, leave again. Zimbabwe, leave again. Malawi, leave again. Is someone prophesying? We are declaring leave again, leave again out of the ashes of our decadence, leave again. The church is praying, leave again. Putting aside our denominational barriers, we come as a people who love Jesus and we speak all dry bones, leave again, leave again. In politics, leave again. In business, leave again. Economically, leave again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let our children begin to call upon the name of the Lord again. Hallelujah. And Adam knew his wife again. And she bore him Seth. And men began to call upon the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Cry before him. Cry before him. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In this grace, I want to speak over your life. Father, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. First, to our studio family here. Koinonia Abuja, Koinonia Zaria, my precious people who I love with all my life and my heart. Koinonia Global, UK, US, Africa, Asia, in the name of Jesus, by the privilege of this grace and this gift that has been given to me to serve this generation with, I declare be blessed in the name of Jesus. I declare that you love the Lord with such a renewed commitment, a renewed fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I agree with you on this day that everything that does not name the name of Christ, may it be far from your life. Shame and disappointment, let it be far from your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone watching, everyone following across the body of christ and across the globe you're trusting god for all kinds of miracles miracles of healing miracles of deliverance miracles of restoration in the name of jesus may this grace speak for you in the name of jesus we bless the government of nations africa the leadership in africa we declare you are blessed the leadership in nigeria we declare you are blessed our political leaders we speak wisdom over you wisdom to legislate wisdom to man the affairs of this nation in the name of jesus such that we we go to our desired heaven i decree and declare in the name that is above all names all businessmen captains of industry the blessing is yours in the name of jesus christ father we pray for all those who labor in word and in doctrine men and women of god servants of the lord jesus christ who strive daily laboring through pain laboring through sacrifice to see that your name is lifted and to see that many come to the saving knowledge of jesus we speak the blessing over them in the name of jesus the christ of god and lord for this blessed family you have given me 
millions from across the globe who call upon the name of the Lord and share as part of this spiritual tribe I stand by the privilege of this apostolic grace and the privilege of fatherhood I declare the blessing upon you you are blessed in the morning you are blessed in the evening blessed is your coming out and blessed is your going in I bless you with hunger for spiritual things I bless you with passion for Jesus I bless you with wisdom and spiritual understanding I bless you with superior dimensions of the anointing may the mantle for honor never depart from your life I prophesy that you go from glory to glory in the name of Jesus may shame and reproach be far from your life all those who are sick we declare be healed in the name of Jesus the oppressed be delivered in the name of Jesus the downcasted find hope in the name of Jesus we pray for the backslidden come home Jesus is calling Jesus is calling come home to Jesus in the name of Jesus we declare unto you there is hope for a tree that at the scent of water indeed it will bud again we pray for ministries that have gone through pain ministries that have gone through setbacks find strength for the future in the name of Jesus we pray for apostles and prophets and teachers and evangelists and pastors scattered across this nation the continent of Africa find strength for the next phase find strength for the seasons that are coming in the name of Jesus Christ and father I pray let there be unity in the body of Christ Lord grant us the maturity to drop aside petty prejudices differences achievements and take our eyes away from these things then to look unto Jesus who remains the author and the finisher of our faith Lord grant us the grace as spiritual leaders to live by the fear of the Lord to live by conscience and to live with a sense of posterity let our children not find fault as they judge us let it be that whilst we came here and that you grant us the privilege of life and service let it be that we served you in truth and that we served you acceptably and father your people have honored me in ways that almost flatter me they have called me names that can only come by your mercy they have brought gifts they have sung praises i pray in the name of jesus let the world know again that joshua selman is nothing without you i am not ashamed to let the world know that you are the wisdom behind the exploits that we all celebrate you are the hand you are the anointing you are the grace behind anything good in the life of this man and lord whilst they lift your servant up grant grace oh god that will continue to lift you up even through our lifting find visibility through our lives in the name of jesus in the name of jesus thank you father in jesus name i pray to scripture now mm. I'm under the shadow of your wing I am under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me I I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious I have overcome First Kings chapter 18 We'll begin our reading from verse 42 does prayer speed provoking prayer does it have any role to play as far as programming a climate of speed let scripture speak for itself and now verse 12 let's start from verse 12 please 
did i um 18 and verse 42 my apologies 18 and 42 18 and 42 all right it says so ahab went up to eat and drink and elijah went up to the top of carmel the bible says and he cast himself down upon the earth is that in your bible and put his face in between his knees remember before then he had told them he said go and eat and now he's beginning to pray and provoke the heavens to send rain after three and a half years of drought and he said to his servant he said go up look towards the sea and he went up and looked and he said there is nothing you would think that when he said there was nothing elijah would get up and say god i called upon you once and fire came what is now wrong with you that i'm praying he called on fire once and fire came now he's praying and he said go and check and he said nothing he said i know this works regardless the result i will stay i know that i can provoke heaven to send rain through prayer the bible says did he this he did seven times reading to 46 44 and it came to pass at the seventh time that he said there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea like a man's hand and he said go and say to ahab prepare your chariot that means i have been able to use prayer to pull down realities from the realm of the spirit now it is at the brink of manifestation in the physical ahab use the best of your chariots as king you have an advantage because the best chariots belong to you as king use it now and begin to run otherwise the rain would come so fast it may catch up with you it says 45 ah i like this and it came to pass in the meantime that the heaven was black with clouds and wind and there was great rain and Ahab rode and went to jezreel you are a christian please convincingly read verse 46 with me one to read and the hand of the lord was on elijah and he girded up his loins and ran before ahab to the entrance of jezreel let me on let me help you unpack what the bible just says here that a man is praying and praying and praying and he gets the note of victory that rain is coming and that it is coming so fast and he tells the king use the advantage you have as a king the best of your chariots and now elijah is left in a supposed disadvantage no chariot no nothing but the bible says the hand of the lord suddenly came upon the prophet and you know how a woman you know how women tie tie their you know that 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 wrapper and he tied his girdle and all of a sudden you are hearing a sound like horses and you turn back as a king and see a prophet running on barefoot and he will overtake you before you get to Israel what kind of grace is that can I tell you the most important thing is for you to arrive not the arrival of a horse if you are waiting for a chariot sometimes god may not need to bring a chariot he can make you the chariot himself and grant you speed lord i am trusting that you will give me a job if you are god let me get a job and god it may not be a job that comes but an idea can come that in three months you are already employing tens and hundreds of people I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious I have overcome A man can stand from a point of disadvantage I know you don't have a job some of you are crying don't be afraid don't be ashamed of your tears that right where you are you can lock yourself 
and pray yourself out of certain things let me tell you many people are not yet tired of suffering many people are not yet tired of defeat there is something that happens to a human spirit at the point of pain there is a day you lock yourself and say i am tired of my wife feeding me my children feeding me an infidel i know she's faithful she's doing her job but lord it's time to take my place as a man you may not know what to do but you can pray to know what to do james chapter 5 and verse 13 apostle james is teaching us the dynamics of victory in the spirit and he says is any man afflicted he says let him pray then he says the fervent and the effectual prayer of the righteous availed much now he uses our same elijah as an example to personify the power of prayer he says elijah was a man of like passion as we are but he prayed earnestly that means there was no advantage in the life of elijah by default it was not because he was a prophet why is this family this way why is it that everybody who comes to favor us by the next day it looks like they forget us you can turn every plate upside down in your house and say i'm not tasting anything until i find answers for my destiny you see let me tell you something proverbs 18 and verse 1 the bible says a get an intermeddler with all wisdom lord i am called i'm a man of character and grace but there is nobody to come and support me in the work of the ministry I, I this is pushing me to the corridor of compromise there has to be a way out and you can pray and pray and check and nobody has come and pray again pray again pray again what is this delay in my life and my destiny I started a building since 2001 that building was at Lintel level it is still at Lintel level till today and I started it as I got a job I am still a director today yet have not been able to complete that house it then means there are forces of darkness that want me to reproduce the failure of my predecessors let me tell you the Bible says say unto God how terrible art thou in your ways it says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves selves to you the bible does not leave us in the dark as to the fact that the whole world lieth in wickedness it takes spiritual naivety to tour this earth under the assumption that no force will be concerned about you even for jesus he said satan cometh to me and did not find anything let me give you one scripture that establishes our prayer point for tonight has god spoken to you psalms 109 as i was studying for this conference i found that scripture and it blessed me so much 109 from verse 26 and 24 may i please request that we read together when we have it projected psalm 109 26 and 27 okay are you ready one to read help me oh lord my god oh save me according to your mercy verse 27 that they may know that this is thy hand lord do it in a way that there will be no confusion that you are the one that did it listen now let me end from where i started esau how come you have returned so fast how come you are in a bell cutter and in spite of all the limitations of your family you still are excelling this is the answer i access help from heaven that the hand of the lord came upon me and began to help me rewrite the negative narratives someone right where you are i'd like you to open your mouth and begin to pray this is the season for speed ministry help me oh lord the psalmist said help me oh lord someone is praying just one minute to pray let it be from the depth of your heart 
grant me access to wisdom wisdom superior grant me access to favor men investing their credibility investing their attention towards my life now oh god i pray arise like a mighty god that you are is someone praying it says thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time favor her the time to favor her yeah the set time man of god the time to hallelujah listen listen my time is up but i want you to pray everything you know in your life that stands as delay or stagnation not speed i crush this spirit of delay go ahead open your mouth don't be silent delay in business delay in outsourcing help delay in ministry delay in structural establishment i curse you by the god of heaven in the name of jesus in the name of jesus let me give you one more prayer point my apologies for stretching the time listen in john chapter 5 the bible says put that would lie there men who were sick important folks the bible says they were all waiting for the stirring of the water because it was customary those days that once in a year an angel of the lord would come to steer the water and whoever enters first everybody say enters first it was a subject of speed not motion whoever enters first that is the person who would receive a miracle and then there was a certain man the bible says who had the ability to take action but he never had the privilege of speed and even though he had action but because of the bankruptcy of speed his days continued to multiply in that place until he got to 38 years i'm sure after four years he would have said i'll be patient i know by the fifth and sixth year can i tell you ladies and gentlemen time does not change anything time only reveals waiting for time to change things is a total waste of time you engage the forces of the spirit to change any negative thing now the bible says at a certain time watch this now that jesus came there and jesus now asked the man a question and said would you be made whole then the man replies and he says i have no man apostle said this was his cry he never said i have no strength the reason why i've not been able to find speed is that i have no man that means for every man who overtook me there was a man that assisted him i'm establishing your next prayer point father i don't know who you need to send prophetically to my life to offer that assistance and grant me speed please open your mouth and pray send them oh god send them oh god to take away this plague of shame this plague of reproach in my life I have no man he said I have no man he said I have no man he said I have no man to grant me the loan I have no man to give me the business advice I have no man to introduce me to those in authority I have no man to invest in my creativity I have no man to discern the purity of the hand of God upon my life and to announce me to the nations he said I have no man and Jesus now comes as that man in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we have to stop here let me pray over your life listen tomorrow I know that it will be a bit of a sacrifice but I'm lending my voice with the apostle over this house we may not have the time we have to honor and respect the time and your schedules to do the impartation to pray 
I will explain to you further tomorrow what it means for the hand of the Lord to come upon a man. The hand of the Lord coming upon a man is the ministry of the anointing because the right hand of God is power. Hallelujah. Men do not just run. I'll be showing you the scripture that the psalmist said, by you I will run through a troop. It says, by my God I will leap over a wall. That there is a grace that can bring down Jericho in one moment. There is a grace that can grant men speed. The Bible says, as soon as Jesus spoke to the sea and said, Shalom be still, he said, immediately they were at the other side. Read your Bible. Immediately they were at the other side. These are the forces that control dominion over time and there are people here in this place right now listen very carefully before i speak please lend me a minute i don't want to take for granted that there is someone who came to church perhaps you are a member in the church or you were invited to come for this glorious conference remember the reason why the man remained stagnated there was he said i have no man and the man jesus left heaven and came to meet the various people who had been around the Bethesda's of life not able to make any progress he did not just come as God he came as the incarnate of the father the man Jesus and he's come to offer assistance and here's what he says the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy he says but I am come that ye may have life and that you will have it more abundantly is that Blessed be the name of the Lord. From the pages of my heart, let my worship begin that never ends. You're my God and your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. hallelujah we just have two prayer points this morning the first prayer point is not for ourselves the first prayer point is a deep intercession coming from a heart of love for the body of Christ we are going to pray one prayer for the body father restore your body to doctrine Restore your body to doctrine more than opinions, more than cunningly devised fables, even from well meaning people. Pray for ministers of the gospel. Grant us the grace to not be ashamed of the exegesis of doctrine. Let our appetite for new things, revelation, not, not cause us to mislead believers. Help us to be intentional to return back to the patterns of spiritual growth. According to Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 1, the fundamentals of the kingdom that make for a solid foundation so that we will become immovable, unbendable, steadfast. Are you praying for the body of Christ? All of you who are following, please join in this prayer. Pray for your pastor. Don't condemn them. Don't call them names. Don't go around insulting people. Pray for them. Grant us the grace, O oh God, to be restored to doctrine. That we will not compromise on the foundations, the pillars that represent our Christian faith. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The second prayer point now is for ourselves. It says, study to show yourself. Listen. I defined a disciple for you that a disciple is one who accepts the doctrine then promotes the doctrine a disciple is not a goer you are made by the doctrine then out of the strength of your conviction you become an advocate of it many of us may need to unashamedly return back to the doctrines of the kingdom we may need to buy some of these old books we have ignored 
to go back again to your bookstore. Some of you, after this service, you may need to rush to a bookstore. And so I know they are faded. I know the quality of the print was not there, but contained in them are rich truths. Some of you may need to go back to study the Gospels again, afresh. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You may need to study the book of Acts again, Ephesians, the Pauline epistles. Add to your depth, strengthen your foundation. Because when all is said and done, if your foundation still stands, then you really stand. Are you ready to pray for yourself? We are going to pray for ourselves. And also by extension, we will pray for uh, those who are following us from whatever nation. The grace to be established in doctrine. Please lift your voice and pray. The grace to be established in doctrine. 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 Minds, but you can invoke mercy. Invoke mercy. Invoke mercy. Are you blessed tonight? I want you to sing for me the stanza of that song. Himela, Himela, Okaka, help me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who knows the stanza? Himela, Himela, yes, Himela. Stanza, the stanza of the song. That's what I really want to hear. When I think upon your goodness And your faithfulness each day I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy Oh, hallelujah To receive the kind of love that you give
in one minute mention the things you know didn't come as a result of your prayer life things that are attributes of his mercy and benevolence if you are ashamed of it you are not a candidate for mercy tonight the Lord mercy is a weapon and you are about to use it now ha. and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire and he said the Lord rebuke you listen the mercy of God is a weapon. You can use it and say, Satan, I know you are supposed to destroy me. But what about this? I present to you the mercy of God. I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant. I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father. Standing and speaking. Turn to you the sinless blood. I present to you Calvary. Shut your voice. I know I've not been a tighter. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. You should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life. And all kinds of And the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood. When I see the blood. You were involved blood covenant and fraternities in ignorance but now that you are in Christ when I see the blood lift up your voice and plead hey, in for mercy come on now in for mercy in for the blood in for the blood Ma <laughs> Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept. 
in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again the devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone there is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given but tonight plead the blood it can blot it out come on now it can blot it out Blot it out. Was he praying? Hear me. A cause, causeless, shall not stand. A cause, minds, but you can invoke mercy. Invoke mercy. Invoke mercy. Are you blessed tonight? I want you to sing for me the stanza of that song. Himela, Himela, Okaka, help me. Who knows the stanza? Himela, Himela, is the Stanza, the stanza of the song. That's what I really want to hear. When I think upon your goodness and your faithfulness each day, I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy. Oh, hallelujah! To receive the kind of love that you give. I'm grateful for your grace. 
And you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before and the accuser came before him, attempting to rail accusations. And he said, Is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire? And he said, The Lord rebuke you. Listen, the mercy of God is a weapon. You can use it and say, Satan. I know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this I present to you the mercy of God I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the father standing and speaking tell to you the sinless blood I present to you Calvary Lift your voice invoke mercy you're going to use it as a weapon over the devourer i know i've not been a tighter you are authorized to destroy me but see the blood when i see the blood when i see the blood when i see the blood you should be destroyed but the blood will speak hear me you live the wayward life and all kind of 
and the earth cries against you but when I see the blood when I see the blood you were involved in blood covenant and fraternities in ignorance but now that you are in Christ when I see the blood lift up your voice and plead hey, in for mercy come on now Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible is in out. Every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, plead the blood. It can blot it out. Come on now. It can blot it out. It can blot it out. It can blot out covenant. It can blot out It can blot out Was he praying? Hear me. A cause causeless shall not stand. A cause causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effect must leave me too. Open your mouth and declare every pattern. You have been blotted. You need my life. Patterns of barrenness. Patterns of failure. Come on now, Koinoni, are you praying? Listen, 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 listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation. Oh, you once in, were in the world, you committed 19 abortions, and blood is speaking, and that's why your life is not moving. It should not move. But now that you have invoked mercy, 
it makes the cause causeless that means it should not come again are we together you stole money help them please and all of that you destroyed destiny but now that you are in Christ what of the blood he showed me Joshua the high priest please take serious this is what I did for my own life oh let me tell you for we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom I want to pray for you but we're going to pray one more prayer point hear me the Bible says the scripture we started in give us that scripture again lamentations Five verse seven. Please quickly. We want to pray and then we'll round up. Lamentations. Chapter five verse seven. Our fathers have seen and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. But now, if I appropriate the revelation that I've been called out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every nation, I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi. I was born in Plateau State I did ask them to do witchcraft and now that they have done it if the land is caused I exempt myself I can't be a victim of another man's wickedness listen I'd like you to pray with all your heart and say I begin a new order a new order dissociated from the past alienated from the witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal covenant Koinonia, you pray. Alienated. Every biological deformity. Every genetic deformity. Pray. Every yoke that made you S.S. That made you A.S. That gave you hepatitis. It must go tonight. The spirit of the spirit of the Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you. If God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self-inflicted, you have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ his advocacy at the throne of the father does not happen automatically it happens in response to an incense sent from the earth the same way his high priest, priestly ministry the bible says is in the order of melchizedek. melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with abraham and he gave him a tenth of all i want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. I stretch my... You hear me? I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos kupadabash. Lekreteke toko soto balakata. Shepreketeke toko suta bariatakata. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free right now from acting craft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities 
strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you men women animals and all kinds of things coming to destroy you plant rubbish in your body i pray right now in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams caused as a result of ancestry right now in the name of jesus i command freedom i command liberty i command freedom i command liberty the blood speaks right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ he said the earth is caused for your sake it says with the sweat of your brows shall you eat but the bible says in galatians chapter 3 verse 29 he says and if ye be christ's then are ye abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise i want to speak and set you free there is a cause of hardship people are victims of this cause hardship has nothing to do with poverty listen carefully many people here you are standing representing your families as i pray and right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the son of the living god i stretch my hands right now i command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder help them please be taken from off your shoulders be taken from off your shoulders right now in the name of jesus i command that cause of hardship be taken from off your shoulders in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ hear me i declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life step into it right now in the name of jesus every yoke of disfavor bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you works against you I command that fail be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ and Cain said my punishment is too great he said I have become a fugitive and a vagabond he said all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me whether they are strangers something upon me makes all who see me to slay me any mark any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativism right now in the name of jesus that might be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes ss jacatosia as there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of jesus every blood I don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with God you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the Lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of Jesus 
Shalados copranda kaskeleka suliata. The Bible says every house is built by some man, but God is the builder. Therefore, I decree and declare that any pattern, any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the Christ, in the name that is above all names, I command a tearing down and a rebuilding now. 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 Now through the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of jesus christ i provoke restoration right now i provoke restoration right now And you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire? And he said the Lord rebuke you. Listen! The mercy of God is a weapon. You can use it and say Satan I know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this I present to you the mercy of God I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the father standing and speaking turn to you the sinless blood I present to you Calvary Lift your voice invoke mercy Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.